guys and welcome back to another episode here on Arc Tutorial. Chris with you today. What I'm going to go through today is a nice and simple one, is how to convert any PDF file into a CAD file, uh, in particular a DWG file, so then you can use it for higher resolution in SketchUp or you can take it and you can put it into any piece of uh, CAD software so that you can use it to scale off or create different CAD drawings. Now what often happens is if you've got some architectural work done by an engineer or an architect, uh, often they'll release the PDFs to you, but they won't actually release uh, the CAD version, uh, and that's often um, because they want to keep that to themselves. Uh, but often you might want it to be able to use it in different applications. So uh, what I'm going to show you is the example I've got here on the desktop. Okay, This is a set of plans for a house. Uh, that I worked on uh, and this is actually the PDF now you'll see once we zoom in uh, it's pretty detailed uh, you can see the resolution starting to, to build up a bit and you can see it's pretty detailed uh, but as soon as I try and put this in SketchUp uh, then it's obviously the resolution is going to go way down because it's just the PDF uh, and it's impossible to put this into things like AutoCAD or DraftSite or any other uh, piece of software that you're using. Okay, so what I'm going to show you, very simple, is if you head over to Google, if you type in CADSoft Tools PDF to DWG Converter, click on the first one that comes up, obviously not including the adverts, and this one via CADSoft Tools, you can see what you can do is any PDF up to 3 megabytes, uh, and you can do two files per day. And obviously it says just the first two pages, uh, but most drawings are only one page anyway. Um, you can actually buy the version on the right, um, but that's if you need to do a lot more things with it. But for what we're going to do, we can use the free version. So what you're going to do is choose the file. Okay, so luckily this one's on the desktop. So we'll choose that file. And then we want to enter an email where you want the DWG to be sent to. Now we're going to use the Arc Tutorial channel. Which, if you want to send any information to me, uh, is arctutorialchannel at gmail.com. And you click convert. So that's loading now. What we'll do is I'll pause the video for a minute uh, and we'll come back in a second when that has finished loading. Oh. I say that, it's actually already sent. That was pretty quick. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll head over to our inbox on Gmail. Okay, and there you go, it's popped up already. So we click on that. Download links, we've got the download links straight for the DWG. Click on that. Okay, that one's now downloaded into our downloads, the DWG. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just to view it, if you head over to CADSoft Tools again, and then go on their products, uh, and you'll see down here there's a web application called ShareCAD. Now this lets you view any DWG files, uh, great as well, you can see here it works on Windows, uh, Mac, uh, even on your uh, iPhone or Windows phone as well, which is pretty good if you want to view DWGs when you're outside the office or you're not at a computer, you can use it on your iPad or your tablet. All you do is in the top left, we'll click on get a file, go on our downloads, there's the downloaded DWG, we'll choose that and then we'll let that install. And then you'll see that now, as we can see here. Okay, is the DWG file that has been created by that. So then you can use that. If you put that into SketchUp now, you'll get perfect lines that you can trace off. Or if you put it into a program like AutoCAD or DraftSite. Uh, you can use it off that and you can actually scale off that as well. Okay, so there you go, there you have it. Okay, if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I uh, hope to see you again soon uh, for more videos coming up. Uh, see you again soon, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>